two Gen Z shills got outed because they were paid to promote old man Biden. Okay. And they're insisting that they were never paid. Yeah, yeah. Show that video. Unfortunately, we have receipts. Yeah, play that video. This, uh, Henry Sisson is his name. Gen Z won't sit back and watch as the Republican Party tries to destroy our country. Yes, because we're responsible for the skyrocketing inflation, 1.9 million illegal immigrants. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save it. What the Republican Party doesn't understand about Gen Z is we don't like you. you claim you want to appeal to Gen Z, but you call us stupid, you say we're dumb, you say we're indoctrinated. I promise it's a losing... No, no, that's that's not what we're saying. That's a diagnosis. That's right. Okay? And when you stand in front of your stupid vertical video and say shit like this, you're proving the point. Kind of like when the crazy Hispanic bitch said, How dare you say all Mexicans are crazy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'm clearly in the wrong. <laughs> These kids are what? 15, 16 years old? Yeah, 18, 19, 18, maybe. 18, 19, maybe. Right. And Gen Z is watching the Republican Party extremely closely as they destroy our environment, take rights away from sure. women, do nothing about <laughs> kids being shot in school. Oh, oh really? The Republicans right. are the ones taking rights away from women. Aren't right. you the ones pushing for men and women's sports? Hang on. Doing that's, the, nothing... that's the complete erasure of women. Well, the thing is, that, like, do nothing as kids are killed in schools. Though those shooters came from single mother homes. Those singles were dem- those shooters were Democrats. Sorry, I'm just- yeah. Well, I'm just saying most of the mass shooters came from a single mother yep. home. Uh, we that- didn't have these mass shooting problems in the 40s, 50s, 60s. They started like in the middle to late 70s, just as no fault divorce took over across the entire goddamn country. Yep. And these kids, I mean, they're dumb, they're stupid, they've been completely brainwashed by public education, and now they've been paid to be shills for the worst administration in American history, and they just wanted a check. I got it. You know, good, good hustle. However, with that being said, you might want to cover your tracks a little bit better. We all know this kid, right? And how about this one? Well, as many of us have suspected for a long time, looks like those two are partisan hacks bought and paid for by the DNC to the tune of around $210,000. If you check their bios, both of them are managed by a company called Pallet Media. And you might think, well, why is that important? Because Pallet Media received direct payments by the DNC totaling $210,000. Apparently, the DNC didn't want to make direct payments. By the way, all of this is publicly available on the FEC website, so they don't want to make direct payments exposing Harry and his goons. So instead, they get a little creative with their accounting. First, they send the money to Pallet, which then manages their talents like Harry. Now, none of this should surprise anyone because it's public knowledge that Biden started an army of social media influencers. But I guess they didn't want you to know who. And and you know, shocker, you know, who's an influence influencer for the Constitution and the truth. Mm -hmm. And we're not getting paid shit. Us. Yeah. Us. Uh, It's really pathetic to see people in an age of information where it's so readily available spewing diarrhea of the mouth that can be easily debunked with one quick search. Or, you know, opening your eyes. Well, that's the minute the minute money moves around, it leaves a trail. Oh yeah. And well, most of the crypto is they're now figuring out how to do that, but one of the I would say one of the big problems we're having in this country is our government has been bought and paid for and they've yep. been paid for with crypto. It is what it is. Exactly. We, can, we as the taxpayers can't afford to have a government anymore. Now, best government on the planet, we just can't afford it. Yeah, too bad we just can't afford it. Uh, oh, well, when it all comes crashing down, all the people responsible for it will get their comeuppance. Karma always collects with interest, just uh, in case you what? didn't know. Uh, yeah, the uh, the idiot kids, try, well, they would rather make up BS lies about myself and Chris than talk about real issues, which, by the way, you're not talking about issues. You have talking points issued to you by the Biden administration. They're not the same thing. But After all, just today, Karine uh, Jean-Pierre, uh, piece of shit, diversity hire, mm-hmm. actually had the balls figuratively and literally, <laughs> to come out and say that illegal migration under the Biden administration dropped 90%. Well, hang on. <laughs> that, that's bullshit. But like, I want to know how, if 210000 was paid to the company that controls them, yep. 
how much they got of that. Oh, I'm sure they get. Well, I mean, a management agency would routinely collect five to ten percent. All right. Well, so they, it, they would have gotten most of it if they got 180. They divide it in two. Yep, they, that could pay but for a lot of their college, I guess. What's hysterical is that Community Notes has already basically uh, spit roasted his <clears> post <throat> mm-hmm. because it says right here in late t- 2022, Biden's campaign team connected with a with young social media influencers, including Henry S- Harry Sisson, to draw in voters aged 18 to 29 with not one, not two, but three receipts. And then additional receipts that he signed with pallet management. Nice. So your goose is cooked. Yeah, listen, man, that is very devastating. Now, I know you're young, you're a kid, you haven't done an honest day's work in your entire life because you think the internet is reality. Grow the fuck up. Because pretty soon, reality is going to come knocking, and if you don't answer the door, it usually comes with ammunition. That's right. (laughs) I'm not threatening anybody. I'm just saying I'm making a, a metaphorical analysis of the situation here. Reality doesn't give a shit, a damn, or a fuck about which your side feet. of the political spectrum you yeah. lean on. And sooner or later, when enough people have had enough of your bullshit and they've moved on to the next best thing, you're going to be forgotten, and all that money is going to dry up. And then guess what? You're going to have to work for a living. Yeah. Sorry, not yeah. sorry. Now, I mean, they're young and stupid. Yeah. What are you going to do? I mean, that's just the way it rolls sometimes. They're still, you know, I guess, micro-penis thinking because, you know, soy. Well, you could tell by how they how they smile. Well, <laughs> you know, they can make up all the excuses they want, but in reality, an excuse has a range of zero meters or the length of your penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're dick thinking, it's the length of your penis. That's right. I thought it would be okay. No, I thought it would be fine. She told me she's on the bill. No, I got to run like a Jew from the tax man. I'm shocked. <laughs> Oh yeah, we were, we were oh. called we were called anti semites for that joke. Of course we were. Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. we're com- or comedians. We make jokes about everything. Stereotypes exist for a reason. Politically okay. correct jokes are not funny. No, they're not. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com/slash/donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.